Good morning, West High. Today I'm joined by one of the top five counselors in the entire state. That's oh Ms. Canellis. Such an introduction. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing today? Never better. All right. Well, today is news day today, so we're going to get to our own news, but uh, well, let everybody know that we are going to see news reports later on from the West Side Story. Breaking news. Their first edition comes out tomorrow. Oh, yes. Love it. Love that paper. Yes. And then we'll get to see two segments about West Side students, uh, West High students, who made the news last week. Awesome. Uh, very interesting. We had the Athlete of the Week. Right. And uh, we also had a group of students that made K KGAN news uh, about their own video that they made. So we'll get to watch a little, little bit of that. Awesome. But before we get to all this other news, we're here to talk with Ms. Canellas yes. about midterm grades, everything that are that, <laughs> that have to do with midterms. So um, we want to find out what midterm grades mean. We've got some ninth graders there that may need a little more priming, mm -hmm. maybe some seniors who, uh, before they slip into senioritis, need a little more information as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, um, when can students see their midterm grade and how can they see it? On Friday, really, by the end of the day, they'll be able to go into their PowerSchool account and see what their midterm grades probably will be. Okay. There so may be some changes, but probably by Friday they'll know. All right. Well, they are going to get a hard copy this time. We're going to mm -hmm. go ahead and hand one out. That'll be on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, we're going to just do a little drive-by. They'll be able to pick up those drive -by grades. Drive-by advisory. Right. But um, mm -hmm. they can get a sneak peek at yes, their midterm can. grades. So what mm -hmm. do these grades mean that they're going to see on Friday? Well, the grades are, are not the permanent grades, but it means kind of, it gives you an idea of where you are after six weeks. It kind of tells you, okay, this is where I am. Do I want to stay here or do I need to really kick it into gear and go crazy until the end of the try, you know? All right. So these grades, they don't, they're not permanent. No, not at all. They, mm -hmm. they, it's really, it's an idea of where you are. And so if you have some grades that, are, that maybe are lower than you like, Now's the time to meet with your teacher to figure out what it is that's making that grade low. Is it because you're not doing well on tests? If so, maybe go over your tests with your teachers. Mm -hmm. um, is it because you're not doing homework? Is it because you have some missing assignments? Those are all the things you need to sort of take note of and decide how you're going to make it better. All right, so you'd say if you have this grade, you look at it and you're going, uh-oh, mm -hmm. I may be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah. Uh, but the first thing you're going to do is say... First thing is talk to the teacher and okay. figure out what you can do. And not, I need extra credit. We don't really go for extra credit no. at the high school level. Mm -hmm. We're really into just keeping up with what's going on in the class. Figure out, are you as engaged as you could be in the classroom? Are you looking at your phone all the time or are you paying attention to what's going on in the room? Those would be some good behaviors to kind of mm -hmm. take note of. Um, and then if, if there are, there, we have a million things going on in this school to give students help. Okay. I mean, you can meet with your teacher, you can, in the library during fourth period, we have something called Tutor Express that's going on, and that's really been awesome for kids. Wow, well, let's talk a little, little bit about that. That's a couple of West High teachers yes, just retired. Yes, former West High teachers who were phenomenal teachers, continue to be phenomenal teachers. Mm -hmm. And they run it in the upstairs of the library, and um, it's a walk-in basis. So maybe it's just one thing you're stuck on, mm -hmm. or maybe it's something you think, eh, a couple times a week I better stop by and keep up. Paper you need help with? Yeah, you're right. If that you're having kind of trouble with the paper or something like that, yeah. Then also on Mondays and Tuesdays, Mr. Eccles runs an amazing after-school study program. Mm -hmm. We do need permission for that. Okay. That's, it's typically younger students, but I think it's open to older. Um, it's 3.30 to 4.30 in the library. Um, the permission slips are available in the guidance office, so stop by. Great. Um, we also have, you know, if you walk into the library, our library is hopping. Right. And it's a lot of it is study groups. It's people that are working together to get things figured out. So maybe there's someone in your class that's doing really well, and you could say, hey, could I touch base with you sometime and see how it is that you're doing this class? Mm -hmm. So um, also we've incorporated student assistants into our um, school this year, so a lot of teachers have upper level students that have been successful in their classes and they're there to help students kind of navigate what they need to know. Wow, well there's a lot of things. So after school mm -hmm. with some with, with some advance notice, Mr. Yep. Eccles has a program. We've got library drop-in, fourth yep. period. Of course, the teacher is the first resource. Number one. And all these other resources as well. And of course your friendly counselor. And your counselor can, can, of course. We may have some ideas right. of how to help you with time management, organization, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. That is fantastic. Now. As you know, um, before coming back to West High, mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time at the junior high. Yes, you did. You got them ready. Right. Well, um, one thing they do at the junior high that's very different that I don't know if everybody knows about mm -hmm. is that the junior high 
it's a bit of a practice in that if you pass two of the three trimesters, right. you get credit for right. that class. Yes, we do have a fair number of ninth graders that think that they get to kind of have one try that they can not blow off, that's mm. the wrong term, but kind of, but you do have to pass all three tries of the core subjects here. Right. So you need three tries of English, three tries of American Studies, three tries of Science, three tries of Math, etc. Right. So and and you don't want to next year be taking the first try of Science along with the first try of Biology. Sure. You just don't want that. It's not fun. No, that's that's no good because you're no. you're in the ninth grade, you know, English right. class and you're yeah. a sophomore. Yeah. And just twice the papers. Yeah. It's just not fun. It's awkward. Trust me. Yeah. That'll do it for us today. Stay tuned for the West Side Story. Yay! Hi, West High. I'm Barbara Suzanne Badavina. And I'm Leela Janice Basuk. Here are this week's top stories. On Thursday, October 1st, which is today, there's going to be a tech crew interest meeting for the people in the pl fall play, You Can't Take It With You. I can't take what with me? No, the name of the play is You Can't Take It With You. She's accusing me of stealing! No, the name of the play is You Can't... I didn't take anything! <laughs> okay, well fine, I took your lunch. But you know what, just calm down. It's not even that good anyway. Just have meat sticks, really, Barbara? This meeting is for anyone who thinks they have what it takes to take care of props, production, lighting, sets, sound, makeup, or even hair. If you want to join, go to the Little Theater from 2.30 to 3. The Play Show Week is from November 30th to, November, to December 6th, and you should be available from November 12th to November 16th if you want to participate. If you have any more questions, talk to Mrs. Nara in room 102. So, homecoming definitely happened. I gotta say, I really enjoyed that plastic trash bag you were wearing. You really pulled it off. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much. I'm so fashionable, I'm basically the next Maya Mahajan. The spirit days were pretty successful. Let's recap. Students enjoyed taking naps last Monday, which was completely justified due to their attire. Traveling to new places is so much fun, especially with a fanny pack full of cash and caramels. Oh, the inevitable showdown of brains versus muscles went down last Wednesday, but I think the score was tied. Oh, and played. Played? Played? Pla played? Played? Played day happened. It was on Thursday. And Friday was the classic green and gold with the green out at the game, which you'll hear a little more about during Carter's Corner. The assembly was a lot of fun, too. Lots of friendly competition and spirit. <laughs> The gym was packed with cheering fans having a great time while the rest of you snuck out the back door and went to Java House. We know who you are. With performances from cheer and dance team as well as an epic round of musical chairs, it was probably the best spirit assembly of 2015. Midterm grades are due Friday this week at 8 a.m. Please, please students, if you are all stressed out or worried about midterms, just remember that finals will be much, much worse. Finish the middle of the trimester strong! Mu Alpha Theta, which is not a fraternity as I previously thought, it's West Side's math club in fact, and they are going to their first math competition on Friday, October 3rd. This is the first tournament in a series of six GPML competitions. Gip mole. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be held at Cedar Rapids Jefferson. If you want to join, sign up in Mr. Kerpus's room 206, BYOP. Bring your own protractor. Yeah. A club called we Wellness Wednesdays is a great place where students can get some exercise doing oh. yoga. <sighs> they meet for an hour after school on Wednesdays and during the winter months. They'll meet for 45 minutes after school on Friday. <laughs> now they're training for the Run for the Schools competition on October 18th. Run for the Schools is a great opportunity to raise money for ICCSD and get very winded and sweaty while doing it. I don't know about you, Barbara, but I love to perspire. Steve Merkel's production class has decorated our Northwest entrance with beautiful arrays of moms and plants. Maybe take your significant other down to our Northwest entrance for a romantic two minutes between third and fourth period. Wonderful work and a fabulous sight that you should all check out if you have not seen it yet. Now to Aaron with the sport. Thanks guys, this is Aaron Carter with this week's edition of Carter's Corner. 
The varsity football team got their first one of the season last Friday as they defeated Davenport Central with a score of 42 to 14. They won behind the strong play of quarterback Alex Henderson, who accounted for six touchdowns on the game. He threw five touchdowns to the air and also ran one in for a score. With the win, they improved their record to one and four in the season. They hope to get their second win of the season next this Friday against Bettendorf on the road. Bettendorf defeated West High in the game last year in overtime. The varsity volleyball team suffered their first conference loss of the year in the gold out match last Tuesday against Cedar Rapids Kennedy. They were able to bounce back for the loss, however, this past weekend in the Dubuque Invitational where they went three and one on the weekend. They improved their record to 16 and six on the year and they will face Linmar here at West High Tuesday night at 7 p.m. The girls swimming team gold out meet was also last Tuesday as they defeated Dubuque Wallert with a score of 121 to 62. They are 5-1 so far in the year, with their only loss coming to Cedar Falls. They face off against Linmar on Tuesday at Linmar High. Both cross-country teams competed in the Rimrock Classic this past weekend in Kansas. The girls team placed second out of 41 teams, and the boys team placed sixth out of 41 teams. There were teams from all over the country, including Missouri, Colorado, Arkansas, Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Nebraska. So a very strong performance by both squads there this past weekend. Last we have boys golf. Senior J.D. Goodfellow got first place in both the Cedar, Cedar Falls Invitational two weeks ago, where the team placed third, as well as the MVC meet this past Monday, where the team placed fifth. Following these performances, Goodfellow was named MVC Golfer of the Year. The golf team faces off against Linmar, Cedar Rapids Xavier, and Waterloo East this Thursday at Finkbine. That's it for Trojan Athletics this week. Tune in next week for more information, and back to y'all in the studio. That's it for this week. Tune in in two weeks from now for the next edition of the, the West Side Weekly. Weekly.